In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a docx editor inside of your Vue app. This docx editor enables to create or open uh, existing docx documents. We're able to edit them and save them back, all while doing that directly in the browser inside of our Vue app. It doesn't require any server-side dependencies like Microsoft Office or LibreOffice running on your server, and does all the editing inside of the WebAssembly module. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. You can head on over to docs.uprise.com, hit get started with the web viewer, pick any framework. Today, we're going to be going ahead and using Vue, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started with a ready to go sample. Now, once you have it downloaded, you can download the zip, open up in your downloads folder, go ahead and extract it. Once it's extracted, uh, you can go ahead and open it with code. Open up your terminal. Hit npm i. This pulls in all the necessary dependencies and as well as copies the necessary resource files from the node modules into the um, public so the web viewer can uh, run and operate normally. Once this is done, we can go ahead and run npm uh, sir. Once it's finished building, we can go ahead and navigate to localhost 8080 where our web viewer is loaded up and it loads a PDF. Now, I did promise you to get a docx editor, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go back into the VS Code, open up SRC, and take a look at the app view structure. This is the app uh, component that uh, WebViewer is coming from. Let's go ahead and open it up. And inside of here, as you can see, that uh, this is the template. This is where it in initializes. Um, now, uh, we're going to go ahead and simply pass a different prop uh, to it altogether. So um, instead of searching for path, let's add one more option. So it's enable office editing. We gotta go ahead and set it to true. Uh, once this is saved, this is actually gonna go ahead and reload. And then inside of here, let's actually remove the initial doc because we're just gonna go ahead and create a new uh, docx uh, document. We can also get rid of this because this code actually uh, goes ahead and add some annotations to it. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. And we can actually go ahead and not be passing any of the props in the future. Okay, and now we have it. So uh, what I had to do is just remove some of the dependencies, uh, like the props that I wasn't using or instance. Again, those will come uh, handy a little bit later as you dive into the docs, but for now, just to get the sample up and running, we can remove them. And then all of a sudden, we have our docx editor up and running in our view app. So what I can do here, I can go ahead, create a title, and then I can go ahead and type in more text. 